Hello everybody, and welcome to Cassie Lou Distractions First Deck Flip Through. Cassie Lou who? Cassie Lou me, Cassie Lou Distraction. Um, I often get nervous when speaking, so it helps that I'm not having my face on camera, but this is the first deck I'm going to introduce to you, and I'll be doing a deck flip through at the preview at the beginning of every month as a preview of my deck of the month. And at the end of the month, after it has come out on my Patreon, I will be posting the full deck review here. But you get my first flip through. The White Sage Tarot, and it's the pocket version by Teresa Hutch. It's got a little book, talks about the philosophy of the cards, talking about chakras. It gives brief, about half page overviews of each of the major arcana. And then when it gets into the minors, it's just a bit under half a page. They get two to three going per page. But I like the little reviews. We'll do a quick three card pull at the end using the guidebook just to see what it's like. All right. The bottom of the tin. I'm filming this upside down and I'm going to flip it in post. I'm not going to edit this video. This is my first one, so I'm going to let it be hopefully the worst it gets. Here's our little deck. It starts with this little cutie. The fool. And the major arcana has often called the fool's journey. So it's important how the little guy starts out and they're representative of how we go through life. So I'm not going to describe each card. I might make a few comments along the way, but I'm mostly going to flip through. I'll add a little bit of music in post. Everyone loves a kitty. This crown is a hit for me. The little, almost looks like a little leaf or flower for the Empress. Knowledge, the key. Seahorses mate for life. Hermit is my favorite one. This beautiful little sloth. Look at the crisp lines and how everything is so softly blended together. Prince is always a good one. The balance, the water being poured back and forth. It's an, a timely message right now as well. <laughs>
Getting my ankles right, getting my ankles right. You see me for the first time, get my ankles right. Oh my god, that one's so cute. I love it. This one kind of looks like a lily pad, even though it's a bunch of teacups. I really like how the eights, the stack here, goes up and the one falls. of sorts. It's so pretty.
So overall, the deck has a lot of symbolism in the majors, but the minors are quite pip-ish, which just means it's like you see three cups and four cups. The cups are more fully illustrated, but then you get into things like this where it kind of gets the message across, but it doesn't have a lot of other symbolism to draw you like this. It shows what are your interpretations from it. I know that other more Rider Waite Smith style decks will have more details to make the cards intentions pop through symbolism as well as using color and I think this does this to an extent but you have to already be familiar with the RWS symbolism to kind of get it intuitively without having to look stuff up at least in my opinion but I think the, the images are just so, so beautiful. That little fool. I don't know if I've seen a cuter one just marching forward so blindly. Well, thank you for coming to Cassie Lou Distraction. Cassie Lou Who? Very first deck flip through. And this one is going to stay unedited because I want to see how far I come. In a year when I'm still doing this, I want to look back at my first video and be like, dang, I hope I'll have gotten better in that time. So thanks so much for coming and watching today.